Hey, Don here. Well, good morning. It's 420 something. I can't see the clock good. 429. There it is. I got more than one clock. Just got to know which one to look at. <coughs> um, so I'm going to boot into uh, boot up with easy to boot on my SD card in the USB adapter. And I think it stopped right there on the antivirus. Yep. That's the first one, first menu other than the uh, default entry. I don't know. I think that's where it always stops. I haven't paid a lot of attention. You'd think it would start at the default entry and timeout, maybe because I didn't set a timeout. So anyway, I put um, a Vira in there. I don't think I've used it yet. I left Bit Defender because uh, it was pretty good. And um, that's what I'm going to do. It's the ones that I like. I'm going to put them in there and leave them. Um, at some point, you know, well, I can't leave too many in there. I mean, I, it's a uh, 32 gigabyte card, but you know, these ISOs can fill it them up pretty quick. Um, so I guess it just really depend on what I got going at the time as to what I put in there and leave. Uh, let's see, yeah, I still have Fedora 24 in there, and I forgot to take out that one that didn't boot that React OS. Um, but so I will have to do that next time. But um, anyway, let's boot up Avira and uh, I oh, it's hanging there. Okay, there it goes. I was going to say, I don't think I need to hit anything because I think if you don't hit anything, it just. Now let's. Oh, okay. Dutch, English. Well, it definitely looked like it was on Dutch, so I wouldn't want that. I guess that's where they're made in Dutchland. Uh, start a virus system, check for disk for defects, test memory, boot from first hard disk. So. Start of our is in red, and that's their color, so I guess that's it. Okay, oh, first you had to select the language. Okay, now, that now that's why I wasn't going up and down in that other menu. Okay, now my phone's way off from the screen. At least you could see what I was doing, I think. I'd like to have a better way to do this, but I haven't found a way, a good, easy way yet. It needs to be right here in front of my face or I, like I can put my elbow on my chair and put it right down right even with my chin and I can pretty well get the screen it's a little low but well no it's not that low it just feels like I'm angling the phone a little more than I'd like to but the thing is this holding still is the hard part and uh, <coughs> So anyway, let's see, we've got a command line. Uh-oh, kernel panic, not syncing, attempt to kill. Unet, so-and-so, so-and-so. PID, com, run, unet, not tainted. Okay, kernel not tainted. Usually, when they, say, at least when they say not tainted, that usually means the kernel is not tainted or it is tainted. But uh, what that means to you and me, uh, not a whole lot, really. Just that it's telling you it's not working. Unless you're a Linux uh, programmer and you know all that stuff. Or just know a lot more than I do. Let's see. Okay, so panic. Corrupted switching back to text console. And uh, let's see, I'm going to try control alt delete and see if I can get it to reboot. Afraid it'd be locked up. Seems like in, uh, for some reason, normally you would be able to control alt delete and reboot. Uh, and most of the uh, when you you know just put the one ISO on with UNet booting or something like that, or even when I use Sordo or Yummy. But in, for some reason, on easy to boot, well, if it hangs, it hangs, and that's it. So. Um, didn't really see. I'll have to look and see if there's more options. I uh, guess I'll stop this video. No use in showing me going through all the getting it booted back up again. And uh, come back when I get back to that screen and see if there's any other options. Alright.